Want Bloodwing back, huh? Shame. I've been doing some really interesting iridium experiments with her. Hate to see her go. But heck with her. This is all yours. Oh my god. Just give it up, kiddo. Bloodwing's got all the elements at her disposal. Fire, electricity, corrosion, slag, and... Ah, damn, I forgot the last one. What the hell was that again? God damn it! Just, just weaken her and I'll hit her with a trick! I'm sorry, soldier, but you gotta beat Bloodwing down. Do what you can to save her, but if you can't, she's got what we need to get into Control Core Angel and grab the vault key. That's what matters here. Sanctuary. I don't know, maybe maybe Zane can patch her up. Get out of the way! She's gonna die for him! in, or that dumbass bird is just the beginning. God damn it, Jack! I'm gonna kill you! You hear me? I'm sorry about Bloodwing, soldier, but we gotta keep moving. Get that software upgrade to Claptrap, and we'll be able to get through the security field leading to Control Core Angel. Get out of here alive, did you? Intruder in range. 
Sweet, sweet. Found it. All right, this is a song for Mordecai's stupid bird. <clears throat> Any. Are right, you want know screw you? It would have been hilarious if I found it earlier. Shut up! Thanks, sugar. I've been meaning to upload these to the Echo Net. In addition to being highly entertaining, the data you found may hold the key to stopping the spread of slag poisoning. Buddy! What the hell are you do 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 <laughs> Holy scat sack! I'm in Claptrap can get us through the Angel's security field now. Come on back. We may have a way past the bunker. Ludwig. Damn. Yeah. Remember? <laughs> Remember that time Mordecai got shot in the shoulder and he just hid behind cover and threw Bloodwing out to face those bandits on his own? <laughs> uh, yeah. And Bloodwing just flew around and around in circles, not attacking anybody. And Mordecai was screaming at him, What are you doing, you coward? Get to kill him! Blah, blah, blah. And finally, Mordecai stood up out of and cover. And Bloodwing went screaming down into the fray and killed all those bandits in a half second. Yeah, he wanted Mordecai to see him do it. Wanted to make him proud. And Mordecai was happy as a skag and slag, kissing his beak, scratching his neck. Yeah, which would have been cute if Bloodwing hadn't been covered in entrails. <sighs> Shut up already! person. I'm sorry about Bloodwing, soldier. Take this note to Thousand Cuts. You're going to deliver that note to a bandit leader known as the Slab King. Now, he used to be a part of the Crimson Raiders until his methods got too brutal. I didn't think ripping Hyperion officials limb from limb in front of their loved ones was an effective way to get into them. He disagreed. Still, he owes me a favor, and he can help us get past the bunker outside Control Core Angel. Got a quest for you. Bloodwing's dead. Jack's nearly got the vault open. I don't know about you, but I need a drink. Or, more like a lot of drinks. The Hodunks run rack ale out of the dust. Blast the kegs off one of their booze runners and get them for me. Got some work for you. I'm trying to write a love poem for this chick, Daisy, but I need some inspiration. Something to get my juices flowing so this poem will get her juices flowing. That's sex. Use this camera to take some pictures of interesting landmarks that I could toss in the poem, would you? Oh, pick up any nude mags you see. Never hurts to have a fallback. 
Thousand Cuts is west of the Highlands. If you're looking for the Slab King, that's where he'll be. Now be careful, though. He kind of lost it after Hyperion killed his dog. You understand. You can't mind these creatures. They're living beings. Without the crystals, they'll die. Sanctuary could easily find another dig site. My security team and I are not hunting these creatures for you. Period. Security Officer Booth, signing off. Miss Booth, need I remind you of the terms of your contract? Your security team is meant to assist my excavation crew. Whether or not you agree with my policies is irrelevant. Shut your mouth. Grab your gun and bring me my crystals like a good little girl. I will say this only once. Your job is to escort the rock chunk to the mineral smasher and deliver the iridium to your supervisor. If you are caught stealing precious minerals from the dig site, you will be shot. <laughs>
escorting a minecart due to your egregious overqualification for menial labor? Fantastic. Let's hop back to story time. So, the dull miners found it difficult to get the Iridium off planet, and soon found themselves wrestling with the Atlas Corporation as they fought over the same resources. As it turns out, word of a vault can travel many galaxies. you fight out there used to be family men, workers, scientists. We're all broken because of them.
theories with deep enlightened thought, but one must assume a deeper connection between the demon spewing vault and the limitless iridium in this planet. Perhaps someday I will I uncover these heavy. secrets and further down the line invent a dance based around speeding. guns, dear. Now, unless anyone from the late Miss Booth's security team has anything else to say, bring me my goddamned crystals! Give me that gun! 
Run, you coward! Aim for the blue one! Aim for the blue one! Well, that was rather dark. Please return to me at your earliest convenience. and the world might be a teensy-weensy bit better if all of them were dead. Or at least one of them. Grab those explosives and the clan emblems. The emblems are back in the junkyard. Here's my plan. You go to Hodunk territory, do that thing you do, by which I mean shoot lots of people and look damn good doing it, and leave the Zafford emblem as a calling card. Then you head to Zafford territory in the Highlands and do the same thing with the Hodunk emblem. Sound good? Hey, cutie. Got a job for you. Why don't you stop by my place out in the dust? 